Hi there, this is Sean Brodick for UncommonWisdomDaily.com. Last week, the Labor Department said the producer price index rose by 0.7% in March, compared to analysts' forecasts of a 0.4% rise. Yeah, it's a bunch of numbers that sounds boring, but in fact, there are some inflationary numbers in there. Food prices jumped by 2.4% in March, the most since January 1984. Vegetable prices soared by more than 49%, the most in 15 years, and gasoline prices rose by 2.1%. The mainstream media focused on the fact that the core index, which excludes food and energy, because you don't need those, right, that rose by only 0.9%. And that is one way to look at it. But another way to look at it is by not adjusting the prices seasonally. Here's a chart that I made from the BLS data. You can see that prices that were falling a year ago are now soaring higher at a 6% rate. Part of this is due to rising gas prices, which have jumped five times in six months. But the trend seems obvious. Where do you think gas prices will go from here? I'd say they're going higher, as are producer prices. And eventually those prices will be passed along to consumers, especially with the jobs picture improving. The government may want to ignore this, but smart investors won't. When inflation heats up, it's usually a good time to invest in gold and silver. You can use gold and silver ETFs for a trade and to hedge those parts of your portfolio that don't do well in inflation. If you're a long-term buy and hold investor, consider buying the physical metal. This is Sean Broderick from CommonWisdomDaily.com. Thanks for watching.